This is The Aura. I am Vanessa James. Here are the stories making headlines today. A William Nebb Memorial High School student succumbed to a stab wound allegedly inflicted by one of his schoolmates at the school on Monday afternoon. The alleged attacker is now in the custody of the Trelawney police. The identity of the deceased has not yet been released. A man was killed, another shot and injured, and a woman sexually assaulted during a robbery in Nemard Town, St. Elizabeth on Sunday, March 20. The deceased has been identified as 29-year-old Jermaine Green, otherwise called Jimbo, a farmer of Nemard Town. Reports from the Junction Police are that about 8.15 p.m., armed men invaded the family's home and demanded cash and cellular phones. A struggle ensued between Green and one of the gunmen, during which he was shot. The robbers escaped with cellular phones and an undetermined sum of cash. The police are seeking three men in connection with the death of 45-year-old Angela Forbes, otherwise called Jella, a janitor of Southborough St. Catherine. Forbes was shot and killed in Miranda Path, Southborough, last week. Reports from the Bridgeport Police are that about 11.45 a.m., Forbes had finished cleaning the Southborough Park and was in the area to hand over tools to a man when she went to visit a relative. She was reportedly attacked by three armed men who opened gunfire at her. Police were summoned and Forbes was seen lying on her back in a pool of blood. She was transported to hospital where she was pronounced dead. Jamaica's third political party, the United Independence Congress, has organized a walk set for downtown Kingston Tuesday morning. The Joseph Patterson-led party last year organized a march on Gordon House that resulted in a confrontation with the police. The protesters took to the streets for the planned march despite the police warning that the activity would have been in breach of the Disaster Risk Management Act. Patterson was arrested in that march. But in a notice yesterday, Patterson asked others to join his party in its One Jamaica Walk. However, Superintendent Beresford Williams, head of the Kingston Central Police Division, said no request for any walk or protest has been received and as such, none has been given. In entertainment, Shensia's album, Alpha, debuted at number two on the Billboard reggae chart after its release last Wednesday. The album's first week numbers reflects 845 in pure album sales, with overall sales activity comprising streams, 4,879, video streaming, 750,592, audio streaming, 4,616,411, SEA Audio, 3,835, Song Sales, 1,987, and TEA, 199. Ricky King Bob Marley remains on top of the charts after he moved 2,968 in pure album sales and overall sales of 11,162 inclusive of streams. In international news, a Virginian newspaper reporter was one of two people killed during a shooting early Saturday outside a restaurant and bar, authorities said. The editor of the newspaper, where she works, had tried to contact her multiple times to assign her the story to cover. The newspaper said that when Jenkins failed to answer, the story was assigned to another colleague. In reporting the story of the shooting, it was then discovered that Jenkins was also a victim. Jenkins, 25, was caught in the crossfire as she was leaving the bar, reports said. This has been the Aura. Catch up with these and other stories on JamaicaObserver.com. I am Vanessa James.